There comes a moment in time When you come to a river you just have Across the country, people stand up at public meetings and they say our parliament does not work. The people we send to Ottawa, even if they're good people, within two years they're turned into Ottawa's representatives to us. And increasingly the decisions of Parliament, whether it's on Leech Lake or on the goods and services tax, do not reflect the will of a majority of the Canadian people. People are disillusioned with the leadership their countries receive, disillusioned with the institutions, and uh, they wonder whether anything can really change. The old Canada is dying, a Canada with an east-west economy, the Canada that was built on French-English relations. It's true, that country is dying. But the positive side is that there's a new Canada being born. Our intention is to provide a movement that will recruit a new breed of politician into federal politics for the 1990s. I invite you to join me and help me welcome the leader of this formidable reform movement, now sweeping across the country, a man of values, a man with a strong voice, and a man with a shared vision, destined to become a future Prime Minister of Canada, Mr. Preston Manning. If you want to reform something, you've got to send reformers. That is So first, just some stock taking. From a membership of less than 3,000 five years ago, we have grown to more than 130,000 members. We must be doing something right. From a small organization with no community presence, We've grown now to include almost 200 constituency associations capable of recruiting candidates for parliament and participating in political campaigns. From a group with only a few recognized spokespersons, we now have over 100 nominated candidates capable of representing a positive alternative to the traditional parties in hundreds of communities across Canada. And by next spring, their number will exceed 200. All of this has been accomplished by dedicated volunteers such as yourselves, supported by an overworked staff at national office. It is possible for ordinary Canadians, many of whom have never been involved in federal or provincial politics before, to build a new democratic federal political party from the bottom up. Thank you very much. No wonder that people and commentators both within and without Canada are saying the politicians must be crazy and asking the more serious question, what is happening to Canada? Now the response of the Reform Party to this chaotic state of affairs and federal politics has been to ask Canadians to think long and hard about two Canadas. The old Canada that is dying and the new Canada that is being born. In old Canada, when doctors deliver babies, they no longer hold the baby up by its heels and give it a pat on the bottom to make it cry in order to stimulate its lungs. Instead, they simply hold the baby up by the heels and say, you owe us $17,000. <laughs> the baby starts to cry right away, with good reason. I'd like to speak about something that's near and dear to the Reform Party heart, and of course that is the whole area of federal spending, where we have seen a government go out of control. I voted for the Tories in 1984 because I believed that Trudeau's policies were wreaking havoc with me and my country. And so in 84 I was proud to say yes, I think we're going to turn this thing around. And then in 88 I was so desperate I thought I won't even go and vote. And what a sad state of affairs for a Canadian to get to that stage where they'll say, I don't even vote because it won't make a difference. 
Thank goodness the Reform Party came along by then and I was able to register my vote and put my energy into something that I knew would be able to make a difference in this country and I believe that it will in the area of federal spending. But because I believe that this party is serious when they say we need to cut federal spending and nowhere would it make a louder, more significant message than to show leadership by example and trim the fat starting at Parliament Hill. I'd now like you to welcome the men and women who will be representing you in the next federal election. And it gives me a great privilege to welcome at this convention the nominated candidates that are carrying the reform banner in so many constituencies across the country. Help me welcome them as well. Ron Mix, Edmonton North. Canada is one of the richest countries in the world. Why is it then that the Globe and Mail has recently announced that we are a country in crisis? Hi, I'm Ron Mix, your Reform Party candidate for Edmonton North. Thank you for the privilege of coming into your home to share with you some concerns that undoubtedly are very important to you. We are here at our campaign office where several volunteers have come to prepare to help us promote reform in our constituency. As you already know, Canada is a country in crisis. The obvious question then is why? History lets us in on a little of, of the answer to that question. Mr. Trudeau, along with his then Minister of Finance, Mr. Kretchen, plunged our country into massive debt by increasing the size of government and the bureaucracy to regulate the lives of its citizens. Mr. Mazankowski has publicly admitted that our deficit is out of control. And he said, if Preston Manning could balance the budget in three years, then I would vote for him. Well, Don, I'll be happy to meet you at the ballot box. I left the political party that I had supported all of my life to join the Reform Party with its common sense policies and a credible leader. Preston Manning, like his father before him, will give the dynamic leadership that will ensure that the people of Canada will once again have a government that will listen and act in accordance with the will of the people. My wife June and I have owned and operated our family businesses for nearly 30 years now. We've had many occasions to observe the loss of freedoms that this government has inflicted on our society through overregulation and overtaxation. You may wonder why I'm leaving two good businesses to get involved in Edmonton North with the Reform Party. Well, firstly, I have sons and their families who are following me into the business. And without significant change in government fiscal management, the future is bleak for them and the next generation. My mandate, along with other reformers who will be going to Ottawa, will be to help reduce your taxes through fiscal reforms and balanced budgets, to make our homes and schools and streets safer through judicial reforms, particularly as it relates to the Parole Board and the Young Offenders Act, to make our members of Parliament far more accountable to the voters who elected them to office through parliamentary reform and other reforms that will once again give the control of our great country back to its citizens. I have a family of five children. They and their families deserve much more than what any of the three old line parties can deliver and they've had their opportunity. I'm asking you to help the Reform Party of Canada and me, Ron Mix, your candidate here in Edmonton North, to make a significant difference in Canada before it's too late. We not only need your vote, we need your help to ensure that we send a reformer to Ottawa who will, for perhaps the first time since Confederation, effectively represent Edmonton North in Ottawa, rather than defending Ottawa's actions to you. Canada is rich. We are rich in oil and timber. We're rich in grain and livestock. We're rich in advanced technology, not to mention our human resources and the expertise in many areas of industry and science 
that are now in demand all around the world. Now is the time for you to speak up and be heard. Please drop by our campaign office or give me a call and let us know that we can count on you to be part of a great grassroots movement to save Canada for this generation and for those yet to come. Thank you so very much.